Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you here on a Thursday, 13th of August. Getting towards that key period, that sort of mid-August period where usually we get some big trend that's going to start. We think that trend might be short fixed income. We'll see. Yesterday we got fucked by this chart here, Swiss Yen. We were long dollar Swiss most of the day. Obviously, that sucked the duck. When you get fucked by Swiss yen, it's kind of like falling in love with a lesbian. In the beginning, you're like, oh, no, this looks pretty good. And then, like, at some point, she goes, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a lesbian. And um, you're kind of blindsided by it. We were a bit blindsided yesterday. Swiss yen went from 116 to 117 in a super straight line. No idea what was going on with this. Very surprising. Kind of like falling in love with a lesbian. Surprise! Who knows? Uh, who knows what we got today? Uh, quiet, quiet overnight. Euro. Took another little peek up there. 118.17. Now we're breaching back through the figure. Uh, our best, ca our best case guess is that we are going to breach this um, 117, the figure area, this week, and this will be driven by higher U.S. rates. Uh, but I'll tell you what, the price action yesterday uh, does not confirm that at all. So now you just got to sit tight, be quiet a bit. Uh, and see where this this thing wants to go, uh, and then certainly up up above 118.16, uh, we got some fresh air, and so higher rates or not, if Euro wants to go up, she wants to go up. So this is kind of our bull bear line 118.16 now in Euro. Cable 130.06 is important. We got about oh, close to a yard of of sterling. Expiring today at 1.30, the figure. Um, so you just got to keep that in mind. No real sterling data out today. 1.30.06, this is our uh, bull bear line here in in, uh, in cable. Above this is bullish, below it is bearish. Dollar Swiss. What the fuck, right? Shit went down to 97. We just took out the last of the longs on that little puke at 97 right at the fix yesterday of course um, that was a ball kick wasn't it my god anyway no idea dollar swiss the most important point obviously now is 90.50 it's the low of the year we think this is going to turn the price is not confirming so we got to just chill out. Um, we're obviously looking at our U.S. fixed income products and seeing higher rates. Uh, worried about a squeeze there. We'll see. Again, got to be quiet now. 90.50 is important. Tough. Dollar yen, 107 is important. Cross yen yesterday just guided this thing higher. Um, and effectively, since this flip in U.S. fixed income, dollar yen's been the horse, right? We were at 106. Now we're at, we trade up to 107. Now we're trading bid dollar yen. Dollar yen looks bid. Um, this seems to be reacting correct correctly to the fixed income move. Euro yen, sterling yen, Aussie yen. All of them. Bid, bid, bid. All of them are kissing basically the tops of these ranges. Really, really awkward. No one likes this, which probably means it might continue. 139.80. Sterling yen, important. Euro yen. Chart's not as clean. Aussie yen's pretty clean. 76.93. Who would have who would have guessed that? 
We were so bearish, dollar yen, two weeks ago. Talking about 101. Welcome to FX. And then Swiss yen, our lesbian lover. Huh. Stumped. A little bit surprised on all this, uh, so we're going to have to keep it a little bit quiet today uh, on the FX side. Gold, uh, good fun yesterday. Down 1870, up to 1960. A lot of gold queries uh, from Twitter. Uh, like I'm some sort of gold expert, I'm definitely not. So you guys can just shut up with all your questions about gold. Um, not really sure. Kind of dogied yesterday. This could go either way. This could easily go back up. This could easily go back down. Uh, again. Try and watch fixed income. This is our main focus right now. We think this turn is real. We are selling rallies on every chance. We are core short ZN and also the long bond ZB. Or as my uh, savant, super smart fixed income guys call it. W, I don't know, WN, what do they call it? Yeah, WN, I guess that's the Bloomberg tag. Fuck Bloomberg. Uh, anyway, short, this is our main call uh, for the next few weeks, short U.S. fixed income. So, you know, you're, you got to kill this above 180.105. Got a long way there, but we've been short for a couple days, playing around with it. It's been good to us so far. Um, today we're going to sell ZBs, some more ZBs up at uh, 179.28, 179.30. Uh, looking for this to continue. ZN, which is sort of your sort of slow, slower, uh, more sluggish version of rates. This is the 10-year. Your kill's above 140, so uh, somewhere up at 139.24. 139.24 was the vaccine, the Russian vaccine news moment, and this is what kind of got fixed income going. And then higher PPI and higher CPI kept it moving. We're looking for a little bit of consolidation and then another move down. This is our main focus. Let's quickly take a look at ES, trade it up to uh, 82 yesterday, not quite at the all-time highs, sure is knocking on that door. Surely 134 will be resistance the first time, looks pretty bid, uh, looks pretty bid to us, I and mean, this bidding becomes less bid now, <clears throat> down through 33.20, so... We're just kind of watching this, not really sure. Uh, no real strong view on this. Looks like she wants to make a new high, uh, but we're definitely not long. Uh, uh, we will start looking at the short side if we can breach 33.20, which was yesterday's low. Or two days ago, yeah, yesterday's low was 33.30. Two days ago, 33.20. Finally, Bitcoin. Looks like she wants to stop some people out through 11,200. We'll be waiting down at sort of 10,600. Um, buy a couple of coins down there. Again, this is just, this is like a stock. It's like owning Tesla. Stupid vol. Unpredictable price. Uh, I would say an insider's market. But we like the concept. Um, and... Trying to collect longs here on any on, on any down moves, but right now we're just nowhere, right in the middle of the range, middle of the recent range, 11.6, nothing really to see there. Let's take a quick look at crude. I don't know why. Why would we even look at it? Really bearish, really bullish. Now we're sitting here at the top of the uh, range. The OPEC. Uh, Mutts. We're talking about Chinese demand and how it was um, rocketing yesterday. 
That's good for the global economy. That's good for the price of oil. Whether that's true or not, who knows? Um, Forty-three fifty-five is the the recent highs. It's a buck away. There will be some risk above that. Could see some sort of continuation, um, but no dog in this fight, crude. Just looking at fixed income this morning, keeping it real quiet on the FX side, kind of licking our wounds on the FX after fucking it up royally yesterday. Um, I wish you guys a good trading day, and I will uh, see you tomorrow. Ciao.